turn 18. Um, so my ally didn't uh, finish the, the complete the quests yet. Uh, I guess the enemies are around this area because I cannot see them. It's uh, infantry, arcane infantry, and other troops. So after he complete the quest, I'm going to buy this. No, it's 164, five sorry gold. Next time might be cheaper thanks to Kutis and ambassadors. So I'm not buying them. Oh, they they grew. They grew before they were costing, I think, 45. And they are at 3,000 population. Um, so I'm not buying them because I cannot defend them. As soon as I should be able to. My ally cleared the inn. The um, magma forge. And the shrine. Yeah, indeed it grew. So, in this area, um, I did the, the gold mine. I have two bards, so I, I had the opportunity to uh, charm two black knights, but one of the charm uh, failed, 50% chance, so only third day I get one out of two. I'm not doing the uh, great farm now, because I've got several units injured, and um, they have four Dread Monkeys, so they can do quite a lot of uh, range damage, and I, I'm very likely to lose one unit, or even two. Uh, even next turn, after I heal a bit, I might still lose one unit on the first turn. Then, with my leader, I did um, this battle at the trading post. Uh, I wanted to charm the trooper, or convert the trooper. But um, I, I think I tried once, it failed 45% chance, I think. And then it, I was quite in trouble actually, because the uh, priests are doing quite a lot of, of damage against me, especially against the trooper, my own trooper. So he was very low on HP, only 9 left after uh, bleeding. Um, so I, I had to, to be cautious and I, I did the second charm on the priest. Actually I played pretty badly this one. Because the idea was to uh, retreat if I failed to charm the trooper and then do it again and I w would have been able to heal extra. Uh, I decided to go there uh, for several reasons. One is there is a lack of good sight uh, in, in this area. There is a Wizard Tower ruins, uh, but it's too difficult for me to clear. There is a Watchtower, there is an inn, and that's it. So I've got several turns without any side to clear if I go in this direction. On the other direction, I don't know yet. Uh, I plan to go in that direction and, and maybe go back to the surface and then move. Oh, actually, that's quite far. Sorry, I mean, yeah, maybe go here and then to the surface. Not to add Marcus, but it uh, doesn't, look, doesn't look very well. Second reason is there is um, a prospector here. So actually, the tiger of my ally was <coughs> around this area the turn before. And we saw this and was thinking, is it natural or is it a prospector? Uh, was likely to be a prospector, and indeed it was. So then the next turn he, he finished clearing this. Used the haze berries, who were one turn from being replenished, and then moved quite a lot because he's a warlord explorer. So he has uh, plus six, uh, plus eight movement points due to trial running. He moves 12 x's a turn, which is quite outrageous. Um, I knew he was around this area because he met the giant dwelling. Um, so if he wasn't there, I would probably have tried, not sure actually, but might have tried to kill this stack, even though it's quite dangerous with a stone giant, so I hesitated for a long time. And then I could have killed five ogres and take the giant dwelling. But because he was there, I couldn't just kill them first, uh, otherwise you would see my whole army. So I decided to uh, instead move back and do some clearing. 
and then come back. The bad thing is um, I don't have, I still don't have tunneling, so I cannot uh, reach. Oh, actually, it's three cobalt. I cannot reach this area um, fast. Uh, I was hoping to have um, goblins uh, there that I could I could charm and then send towards him. But actually, I, I can still do it with cobalt. Uh, they are weaker, but they also have cave concealment, right? Uh, so next turn, I'm going to clear this. This is a bit dangerous. I need to charm the or convert the apprentice. Actually, I could also do the wisps, uh, with peaceful. And then I'm going to come back, use the haste berries, uh, pr uh, probably lack movement points to, to actually use them. I put these guys there to guard the two um, X's here, so that he cannot come and take the haste berries uh, out of my... just in front of my nose. So yeah, nothing else in this area. And then there's another prospector here, which I spotted with the this crow. It's a pretty, um, I don't know how to say that, but pretty weird map with lava here, lava, double lava uh, in this area. A lot of dirt cavern wall, a lot of cavern walls. Um, here a lot of cavern walls also. So he cannot reach. Uh, oh, he has basic suffering. He cannot reach this um, and reach my crow. Uh, he doesn't have plans to do that, I guess. Actually, currently doesn't see it, but he might cross like this, and uh, I won't be able to reach him because I don't have tunneling. There is a Tigran CT teams here, so I might try to buy it by meeting them. Um, there is a city or outpost from Dread Reaper in this area. And then on the surface, um, a cave entrance here. So I moved cautiously. I'm going to check the cave entrance. And here the crow with uh, Arctic, Arctic um, Concealment took the Lucky Clover Field, the Watchtower, the Iceberries. Then move there. Um, I keep the options open to, to go to the cave entrance and have a good vision here or uh, move toward Marcus and there is something from Marcus in this area so might be good to capture it try to raise it. I've got a crow being summoned I'm not casting it this turn because no good position to, to cast it and uh, I'm not wasting the casting points because um, it means next turn if I cast it I, I won't use any casting point. Here I'm not building anything because I'm keeping my gold uh, for the high upkeep I'm paying and I'm going to pay even more in the future due to a lot of mind control. Here I'm still building the settler hesitated to uh, rush it but for the same I, I'm keeping the 100 gold and not rushing it um, because I'm soon going to be negative on one gold I, I, I think also I need 100 gold to build a fortress there yeah so here um, nasty scoundrels here and I'm going to build a what the um, uh, fortress there and then probably uh, going to come back where I was here and build a watchtower because it's a pretty good location. Actually, I wanted to do that the previous turn, but I forgot, which was not that bad because otherwise I would have been exposed to the scoundrels. Uh, it's a pretty good spot here uh, because it doesn't reveal the center X of my city if it gets captured. Captured. There's three, four, five, six, seven, but it does cover. Um, the, the fortress, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one X uh, outside the fortress, so I can see if there are any units around the fortress. A pretty good spot. This guy is going to do his usual um, scooting of the area. 
this guy is doing nothing. And this guy, I'm going to check the in. So it's a bit annoying to have those scoundrels here because they come from here, I think. Because they can. Um, I wanted to have a unit on the in, right? To defend it uh, from Marcus uh, buying units there and then attacking me. But um, they can just kill the units defending the inn. So I think I'm I'm still going to buy a longbowman. You know, it's a pretty solid unit. I think it should uh, be able to kill crows. But I'm going to send it here uh, to defend the fortress. And this guy. So if if I move him here, then he can be uh, reached by the scoundrels. So I'm going to move it here for now. Cannot be reached by the scoundrels. Oh shit. Um, yeah, so it should be fine. Should be fine for this turn. Then, so this one finished his movements. And that's it uh, for the turn. Thanks for watching. See you next turn.